What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Construction Simulator 2015 video and today we will be building a single family house with a furnished loft. So let's first sign the contracts before we get started here by loading up some stuff. So let's go into the jobs list, contracts right here, this has 9 tasks. So hopefully we could get it done today, let's accept the contract, let's this thing load awesome so we got the contract in all so we are at the materials dealer where we will be taking this truck and we'll be up starting it up once we purchase the container we need so let's get the container really fast under equipment and I'm very excited to be playing this game so give me a big like if you really do enjoy today's video and give me a comment if you would like to see more construction sim videos every week Let's uh, get this boom lowered down to start this off. This does take a pretty realistic time, which is awesome. And I really do like this small truck. It is small, but it does the job that we need it to. And you don't really need that large of a truck for just hauling a single container. So we'll get this loaded up on the truck. Perfect. We'll raise this up. This is awesome. I really do enjoy using the awesome trucks that this game comes with. And uh, yeah, so we got this on. So we will head on over to the job site now. Arriving at the job site for the first time. And this looks to be a very large fencing area for a pretty small house. So that's pretty interesting. But we'll get this starting to lower on down. And I think that we do have to get some pallets and stuff like that. So we will be doing that once we get told. Right after we drop this all the way down, let's uh, make sure that we are putting it in the coned in area. Awesome. So it looks like we have to excavate this marked area. It doesn't need the large excavator. So we will select on over and get that once we just pull this out of the way. And I don't really uh, know what control I'm pressing at the moment. That's really funny that I'm just pressing a random control hoping that it works. But we will leave this truck here and let's go select on over to the small flatbed truck with the small excavator since that's all what we need alright guys so we'll pull on out here once we put up this jack let's uh, see how we do that I'm not sure exactly why that jack goes down all the time but that's no problem alright we will make our way on over with this truck now at the job site now with the mini excavator so let's get this unloaded off the trailer We'll lower down the ramps to this and we'll drive it off. And we also do need to disconnect the trailer since we will not be needing it attached to the truck. And we're going to be putting all the dirt in the back of the truck, which is also a mini dump truck, which is pretty cool. So let's put that uh, jack down. Let's uh, put that down. Okay, so I think that we're just going to leave that. And we'll just get out of the truck. And I think that we could probably just drive the truck on over. But let's roll this out. I really do like the controls. Especially using a uh, controller is awesome. So we'll roll this all the way over here. And like I said, this video might be a two-part video. Because there are a lot of tasks. But let me know in the comments, guys. Like I was saying, if you would like to see more of these. So it won't let me uh, drive this truck. So we need to put the ramps up. Yeah, so let's wait for these. And I think having the trailer behind us isn't that big of a problem. Not going to be that big of a hassle either. So I think like that will definitely do. And we'll just move the excavator right next to it. And I'm really excited about using this excavator. It was like one of the starter equipment that we used to use. But we did get the larger one also. But it's always nice to go back and use these smaller ones that we used to use. I think that this is a perfect spot. We'll drop that down and we'll get excavating here. I really do like using this mini one. It's perfect, especially for a job like this. Oh no, guys. We definitely have to back up just a little awesome now we could actually clear the cab without hitting it we really don't want to be damaging our trucks at all that wouldn't be too good but we just hit it again that's pretty funny but I will continue to excavate here and we will
catch you when we get the mission to be over. Alright, I got the message and no, we do not want to continue digging. So let's move this out of the way and let's see what our next step here is on the job. And I really do enjoy using this small excavator, but it did take a lot of time just to clear this out. Awesome. So we got this on over here and it looks like we need to go get some stuff at the materials dealer and our truck is already there. So let's switch on over to that and that is the large flatbed where is that so the flatbed with the crane that's what they call it which is awesome so we are here at the store awesome so let's get three no four sewer pipes awesome so let's go under pipes we need four of these and I think that actually we have to bring them in with a crane yep awesome so we'll just drive on over there not too far but this will definitely take us a little bit of time since it is a little bit slower than using the forklift. And I wish I could use a forklift, but I think the crane for this seems to be much easier. And I think putting our sides up will also help these from not rolling. So let's get these stabilizers out. And the stabilizers are awesome. They really do help support the truck from tipping over when using the crane. And I really do like using them. So the, it's going to lower down and it actually has one in the back also. That's awesome. So we will raise this up here. Get this up. Get this out. And hopefully we could fit all of these in. I mean it's a pretty uh, large pipe. But I think that we will be able to. Let's hope that we can. If not we might have to drive a little unsafe to make it with all of them. But I think actually you could probably fit four side by side awesome if that's the case that would be definitely helpful for us instead of taking multiple trips we'll drop that down and we might actually have to readjust that but we'll just see let's move the camera out of the way so we don't hit the building and go inside it but I think that overall this is going pretty well so far and we do a very good job at building these houses here in this game but I would like to build some other things like a soccer field so let me know in the comments guys would you guys like me to build a soccer field it would definitely take multiple part uh, parts to build it which means multiple different videos which will be a lot of fun so let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to do that I'm definitely going to have to lift this up and move it it's way too uh, bad of a packing job if you would say oh no hopefully we don't have them go flying that wouldn't be too good for us but I think that we're just got going to have to uh, do it. So let's just uh, put these on the back even though we might have some trouble. Let's hope that this one will fit. I wish that they fit like this but I believe that they are actually too long to fit this way. So I will definitely just have to drive a little slower going on over to the job because yeah this will definitely take too long to get this arranged and I don't think this uh, load was actually meant to take with this truck but I think we'll be fine we'll raise it up and just put in the back corner over here hopefully the side doesn't oh no it fell oh no hopefully we could uh, retrieve this one can we retrieve it let's see I'm not even sure if I could re-get this oh oh yes I can guys we got this lifted back up. Let's see. I'm definitely just going to turn this. Let's see. Can we turn it and just plop it on top? This isn't the safest way of loading, but it is the only way we can do it for now. And it just keeps falling over. So I'm not sure exactly why uh, this keeps doing it, but I will try one last time before we figure out another option. Let's uh, see if we can get it up. And I think actually turning this might be a better option. So let's uh turn it. Oh no, we need to raise it way up, way. Oh no. We might actually have some problem loading this one. Hopefully we could just set it right on top here. Oh yes, we got it. Awesome. Let's press backspace. And I usually do this because it's a lot easier to secure that. And we'll put the stabilizers in. And I will definitely drive very slowly on over to the job site. 
pulling into the job site now and I did drive very slowly and safely and we made it over here even though the load was moving around which is good because we really want to keep up this pace here on building this house we'll drive over that little mound of dirt and we'll put the stabilizers out and hopefully we could get these in place without having any further problems but once we do this we'll see what the next step is and I think we'll call it a day for today once we do this since it's been a pretty busy day and like I said a lot of these construction sim videos will be multiple different parts because these are some pretty large product projects but I think we'll get the one off the top first before it rolls off and we could get this safely without it falling on anybody awesome so we will get this to lower on down I think we have to first lift it up and let's get it in place rotate it and we'll start to lower it down now this is awesome this crane is also very fast which is perfect whoa getting way too close there you really gotta use many different controls to get these pipes in here without causing any problems but you guys can see to the left that that dump truck is pretty full of dirt hopefully it's not too full because we might need to do some more excavation but we will have to see we'll ex start to ex extend this down so hopefully uh oh actually I think we're doing a pretty good job right now guys awesome so we have two more pipes here and then we will see what the next step is and I think we can change up the camera view let's see is there any other camera view we nope there's only two different camera views and I really do like this one that moves around with us I think that we do definitely have to turn this one let's see turning it we just need to get it almost straight and then the game will actually do a lot of it also getting it in the right position which is good and going down seems to have a lot of uh, speed which is pretty cool awesome so we have one more here which isn't that bad unloading these is pretty fun actually if you get a hang of the crane you can do very well we'll move on over here awesome so we will put this last one in place and let's see what they want us to do next but I think that we have to get some stuff some materials from either the materials trailer or probably like the sawmill since I think that this is made of wood this house but I have to see we'll lower this one down and if you guys would like to see more construction sim videos let me know in the comments I will gladly do more and like I said let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a soccer field this last one is a little bit of a stretch for us but we did it that is awesome so uh, we will pull this one out of here and I think we need to move that truck also which isn't that bad but we can't reverse until the stabilizers are all the way up and actually when we were trying to do this and remove it with the excavator it actually just spawned us out of there so hopefully that does happen to us be a little bit faster but that's fine if it doesn't and I really do like the realism put into this game where you can jump out if the truck is moving awesome because I know that some games you can and that isn't really safe and it looks like this truck is just over halfway full which isn't that bad we still do have a lot of room just in case we gotta do anything else awesome so we got the next step here but I think that's going to call it a day for us today. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this. Stay tuned for part 2 next week. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe.